Welcome back. This is a big weekend for former Braves skipper Bobby Cox. He, along with former Braves pitcher Tom Glavin and Greg Maddox, will be inducted Sunday into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Yeah, good days. Ron Gann is in Cooperstown this morning where the excitement is building for this weekend ceremony. He got a chance to sit down with his old manager <laughs> to talk about Bobby Cox's legacy. Ron? Hey, listen, I, I'm so excited right now. I mean, uh, this is this is just something that uh, is a dream come true for me. And uh, as uh, all of you know out there, three Braves going into the Hall of Fame uh, this weekend. And we're going to be here all weekend uh, covering this and, and taking part in all the festivities. But listen, uh, I am so proud of the guys that, uh, that I used to play with and for, one of them being Bobby Cox, my former manager. I sat down and talked to him, and this is what he had to say about how all this got started back in 1991. I can remember when it all started in 91 and um, worst of first and that was one of the most exciting seasons I've ever been a part of and I was on the you know the 95 and I was with the Yankees in 77 when we won the World Series so but I, I'll still always remember how we got started in 91. It was great to be a part of that. Would have liked to have been here in 95 but it didn't stop there there was a lot of success after that. Um, how did how were you able to maintain that type of success? Well you got to forget what you did last year for one thing and and uh, you can't become complacent. You still have to work. And we had, you know, we've always had players that wanted to get with it. But I think you have to, you know, maintain the energy level, uh, both for me and, you know, it rubs off on the players. And the intensity ha always has to be there. I don't remember ever managing a ball game that I wasn't nervous in or in really intense into it. And that's one reason I got thrown out so much. You guys made, made the game so tight. We always had good pitching. And, uh, you know, we could lose or win a game on one check swing or one play at second or whatever. And uh, I got thrown out of more games probably when we had 10 game winning streaks than we did five game losing streaks. There would be times, though, uh, that I would be in the clubhouse and you and I. I would, you know, walk towards each other. And I remember you saying, well, hey, Ron, how you, how you feeling? How you doing? How's the family doing? So I, to me, that meant that you cared about your players. Well, I, I did. And, you know, they're, they're kind of like your kids. And, you know, you, you've got to ask and see how they're doing. But I always expected our players, once they hit that clubhouse door, you know, to have their game face on, no matter what was going on in their lives. So I did spend time making sure that I, I did ask and, uh, you know, try to make everybody feel a little bit better because, you know, when you're together for eight months, nothing is absolutely perfect. So there, there is things that goes on. And, uh, you know, if you can eliminate some of that stress, the better off we are. All right, listen, he talked about how he was a player's manager. Well, coming up in the 8 o'clock hour of Good Day Atlanta, we're, I'm going to show you part two of my sit down with Bobby Cox and kind of talk about, and he's going to show you how he was a player before he became a manager and a general manager. So that's all coming up at Good Day Atlanta.